Welcome to the third and final part of the presentation, how to create dynamic job types on IBM Tivoli Workload Scheduler version 8.6. My name is Neil Richards and I am a consultant at Orb Data. In the final part of this presentation, I will demonstrate how to create a second dynamic job type using the file transfer job definition. This file transfer job definition will utilize the dynamic agent workstation type instead of a dynamic pool. So without delay, log into the dynamic workload console to begin the presentation. Now I need to create the second dynamic job in this video using the file transfer job definition. As before, I go to the portfolio and under workload design, I select create workload definitions. Click on go to launch the workload designer. Then click on New, Job Definition, and select the File Transfer Job Definition. In the General tab, enter a name. In this case, I name the job Dynamic ENV. Then the magnifying glass next to the workstation text box is clicked. This brings up a look at the workstation page screen. Under workstation type, I select agent and then click the search button. I then select small Mach from the list and click OK. The workstation text box is now populated with the name of the small mark dynamic agent. Next, I select the file transfer tab. In the transfer type drop down box, I select download. In the server text box, I enter the host name of the server I am downloading from, in this case, tws64.network.com. In the remote file text box, I enter the location of the file I wish to download. In this example, I enter forward slash home, forward slash TWS user, forward slash JDBC underscore work space, and uh, forward slash dynamic env dot JSDL. In the local file, I enter the location where the file is downloaded to. So I enter forward slash TMP, forward slash downloaded dot JSDL. From the protocol drop box, I select SSH. Transfer mode is kept as binary. Ignore the section codename convention. Then I enter my user credentials at both the local and remote sides. When complete, I click the Test Connection button. 
test connection message is displayed on screen stating that the connection test on server TWS 64.network.com completed successfully using protocol SSH. With the job definition complete, I save the new job definition to the database. A message is displayed saying the object smallmach hash dynamic emv has been created. Finally, I close the job definition object. I then close the workload designer by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. A confirm message box is displayed on screen. Click the OK button to continue. To test whether the job works, I need to submit the job. So I move to the portfolio and under workload, under submit, and click on submit predefined jobs. Accept the default engine name by clicking on the go button. Under the job section, click on the button next to the job text box. I click on search to bring up all the job definitions. Dynamic ENV with the workstation of Smallmach is present in the results table. Select that row and click OK. The job and workstation text boxes are now complete. I enter an alias of dynamic env1. And then click the OK button. A message is displayed on screen. The operation has been completed successfully. Click OK. Now I need to confirm that the job completed successfully. So I go to the portfolio and under workload, under monitor and select monitor jobs. I then select all jobs in plan distributed. Click on OK to accept the default engine name. Dynamic ENV1 is present in the table. It has a workstation of Smallmach and has a status of successful. So I right click on Dynamic ENV1 and select Job Log. At the top of the job log is the job submission definition language, or JSDL. It is the bottom of the log that is of interest. The details of the file transfer are present here. The dynamic agent which ran the job is also shown here. In this case, it is Smallmach, as the Smallmach workstation was selected when the job definition was created in the workload designer. This job also has a downloaded file as output to provide further evidence that the job completed as expected. The file in question is the downloaded.jsdl file.
which should be located on small Mac at the forward slash TMP directory. So I access the small Mac VM to confirm this. I bring up a terminal session and change directory to forward slash TMP. I list all files ending in a .jsdl extension in the directory. Downloaded.jsdl is present. A quick more command displays the contents of the file on screen. The job, Dynamic EMV, has worked as desired. It has downloaded the file from a location on TWS 64.network.com to a location on small Mach. By using dynamic pools, it is possible to modify existing TWS jobs to use the dynamic capabilities provided with dynamic agents and dynamic pools. Though the actual jobs used in this video were simple, I hope that they were able to convey the methodology required to create dynamic job types in your own environment. This is the end of this particular video presentation. I hope you have found the video useful. If you have any questions or queries, you can reach me at the email address on screen. neil.richards at orb-data.com Thank you for watching.